what's up everybody? I'm Nancy, for those that don't know me. I am making these videos because I have recently been reunited with my childhood belongings. Pretty much all of them. Um, I had to make some decisions about what to throw away and what to keep, of course, but I am taking this little trip down memory lane as I post some of these for sale. And as a result, I thought I would also dig a little deeper and make some videos about some of these interesting toys from my childhood, which was the 80s. Um, so yeah, I hope you'll follow along for the ride. All right, so Rose Puddle Place, here we go. So this came about because I went through my old belongings when my parents moved and found a lot of dolls, action figures, collectibles, clothing. Uh, Rose Petal Place happened to be one of the collections of dolls that I found. So in trying to see the value of them and trying to kind of relearn a little about them in order to place them up for sale, I thought it was fascinating some of the history behind them, some of the details of the characters. I mean, they really went in depth with the character development of these individual dolls. So let's start by showing a little video of some of the Rose Puddle Plays characters, and then I will read off a little fun fact information for you. All right, so this is coming from Wikipedia. Rose Puddle Place was an American produced animated film from 1984 made by Ruby Spears with a corresponding line of flower themed dolls made by Kenner Products. The concept for Rose Puddle Place was created by David Kirshner and the film was written by Mel Marmerstein. The film was directed by Charles August Nichols and was released in syndication in May, 1984. So I thought that was interesting because I had the dolls, but I actually have no memory of it being a film. I don't remember the film. I feel like now I'm probably going to have to go find it. Maybe it's on YouTube. I don't know, but I have to go back and find this thing because I vividly remember playing with the dolls and thinking they were so beautiful at the time, but do not remember the film whatsoever. Um, so anyway, so I'll keep going. Rose Puddle Place was first introduced in the 1980s as an animated film, which also included a corresponding toy line and play sets. Rose Petal dolls were marked markedly similar to the fruit and dessert themed strawberry shortcake dolls. Also had those. Also made by Kenner. The Rose Petal dolls themselves were flower themed and based on different types of flowers. Other accessories were produced, including lunch boxes, books, games, stickers, various fashions for the dolls. Okay, so that's sort of the backstory, the fact that it was based on a filmed and on the film, and then they had the corresponding dolls that came out at the same time in 1984. Now, here's a little bit more info about the dolls themselves. Now, this is actually coming from a website called ghostofthedoll.co.uk. Um, bless them for all the research that they do in all of these dolls from my childhood because I, I'm just amazed at the amount of information that you can find on this website. But here's what Ghost of the Doll has to say. Rose Petal Place was produced by Kenner in 1984. They were a group of scented flower themed dolls with petal dresses and floral accessories. There were also a few play sets and other related accessories. Mm -hmm. The doll molds were used again for Kenner's Bubble Bells in 1990. I don't remember Bubble Bells, probably a little bit after I was playing with dolls, but that's an interesting fun fact. There were six dolls in the original series with six more due for release the following year, but never actually produced. Each doll was six and a quarter inches high and were articulated at the shoulders, neck, and hips. They came fully dressed and also came with a purse, comb, and a posing stand. Now, what I'm gonna show you today is I actually own five of the six Rose Petal Place dolls. So I'm going to 
give you guys a little close up of some of these and also walk you through their little storylines because as I mentioned, they each have their own little character development behind the scenes. So I'll share that with you guys as well. All right, so I'm gonna read you the descriptions of all these characters from the storybook. Are you ready? Here we go. Rose Petal is the natural leader and protector of Rose Petal Place. She is as talented as she is beautiful and sweet. Her magical singing keeps the garden blooming and her good common sense keeps everyone in it safe and happy. Sunny Sunflower is Rose Petal's best friend. As is often the case with best friends, they are opposites in many ways. Sunny is a tomboy who always says exactly what's on her mind. You might say she's spice to Rose Petal's sugar. Lily Fair is a dreamer whose dearest wish is to be a star. She is sincere and dedicated and could be seen practicing her dancing at all hours of the day and night. Daffodil is all business. She runs the Bouquet Boutique where all the girls go for their beautiful clothes. She has big plans for her future as a businesswoman and she is never without her flower-shaped calculator. Orchid is Daffodil's best customer. She loves to pamper herself and spends most of her time on self-improvement. When Orchid is not actually shopping, she's thinking about it. Iris is the resident artist of the garden. Although she is very shy and quiet, her deep emotions show on her wonderful canvases. Here's a couple other characters just for fun. This is Pitter Pat. She came as a stuffed animal. This is PD Centipede. This is Seymour J. Snailsworth. Tumbles the Hedgehog actually also came as a stuffed animal. And the character of Nestina came as a little doll that you could buy as well. So I happen to have the original booklet that came with the dolls. Welcome to Rose Petal Place. And this is where the story is listed for kind of how these dolls came to fruition in this magical world. Once upon a time, long, long ago, a little girl sat crying in her lovely garden. Her family was to move far away and she would have to leave her beloved flowers forever. As she cried, she made one final wish through her tears. Live forever! As her teardrops fell on the flowers, a miracle began to happen. The blossoms came to life as beautiful creatures, each with her own special personality. The little girl's wish had come true. Now the garden is filled with singing and happiness, even when threatened by the evil Nastina, the spider. The flowers and their friends know they will always triumph with love and live happily ever after. Warms the heart. Okay, so we've reviewed some of the characters and their backstory. And that actually I've gotten from the inside covers of these Rose Petal Place books. Now the books that I actually own are Love Helps You Grow. And I have A Garden of Love to Share. Now I do actually remember really liking these books as a kid. Um, but I looked online and there is a whole collection and I've realized they actually show the whole collection on the back as well. So the other books in this series included Sunny Sunflower, Lily Fair Learns a Lesson, The Fantastic Fashion Show, Rose Petals Big Decision, Love Helps You Grow, A Garden of Love to Share, Fun is All Around You, and Rose Petal Place, A Matter of Music. I hope that you guys enjoyed the little trip down memory lane with Rose Petal Place. Um, these dolls are actually being put up for sale. I don't know if they'll still be for sale by the time you watch this video, but that was sort of how I got into all this research was by, uh, was by looking up all the information about 
the origin stories of these and uh, whether they're worth anything today. So anyway, bye guys. See you next time. If you are as fascinated by these 80s and 90s nostalgic toys like I am, then please feel free to give me a follow. My YouTube channel is 80s, 90s fun. And I have an Instagram, also 80s, 90s fun.